everybody, it's your boy Jane with a little bit of everything. Today I'm bringing you a quick unboxing. Hey, I know you've seen plenty of unboxings of this thing, but you haven't seen mine. So this is what we're going to do. See, I just got off work looking all patriotic and stuff, but I'm about to change into something a little bit more comfortable before I get into unboxing this box. I'm back and I feel good. So let me tell you what I just picked up. Picked up the Sigma 35mm F1.4 with a package deal from Adorama. Video is not sponsored, by the way. So, like everybody else is trying to teeter totter and say, which 35 millimeter lens they want to get? Is it the Sony 1.8? Is it the Sigma 1.4? Is it image quality? Is it autofocus? We don't know, but we have to make a decision at some point. Is it weight? Is it price? I mean, we got to make a decision at some point if this is what you want to get. I decided to get a 35 millimeter lens because I want to try something different creatively with portraits instead of just being the punched in portrait all the time or the super super blurry backgrounds and just not letting everything in the background so I want to get into some environmental stuff just see what I can do you know what I mean challenge myself so without further ado let me get to cutting open this box So long. I've been waiting on you for so long. They don't even say which side is up. We're just gonna go off the label side and the stickers. Be very careful with the blades, children, because these things are dangerous. Wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. The box is open. Now, before we get into the lens, let's just talk about the package deal and the accessories that came with this one for free. All right. Okay. This is the, the photo suite from Corel. Um, it comes with the Photo Mirage software, the Video Studio, Painter Essential 7, Paint Shop Pro, and Aftershot Pro. Never heard, never heard of any of these softwares, but I hope you dig into them. They come in, they're available to download with your customized serial numbers. Thing number one. All right, trusty lens cleaner pen. I've been through one of these, so it's a good time that I get another one. Thank you. Oh, purchase card. And I'll, I might need that later. Mm. This is a, I guess a lens cap cable leash. I've heard of these, but I've never used one, nor have I had the need. But maybe I need it because I'd be losing lens caps and stuff around the house. So help me out. Help me help you. Okay, this is a lens wrap. Let's open this up. Smell like a new, I would say car, but I would say smell like a new baseball glove. These are lens wrap, a lens wrap. I've never heard of this either, but I'm just gonna assume that you wrap your lenses in them and then when you put them in the bag or when you're storing them, I don't know. All oh, this new technology stuff. I, man, it's pretty soft. I mean, I would like use it as like a table topper, I guess. I don't know. And just sit lenses on it for demos and just for storage and protection. I don't know. But I guess I'll have to figure it out, right? Uh. Um, optics cleaning kit. So you got your lens little dusty thingy, your blower, some lens um, cleaning spray, and a microfiber towel. Pretty neat. You always got to clean your lens and your glasses because, you know what I'm saying, this stuff costs a lot of money. And you want to be able to take care of it. Oh. Unboxing day. we wait for you. Alright, lens filter kit for the 67mm filter thread 
which the Sigma 35, 35mm f1.4 art comes with. Yeah. Um, it has a, a UV filter, which is the clear one, your circular polarizer, and ND2. ND2 um, filter to cut the light. It's a three piece lens filter kit. Place it to the side. And I'll check this out and make sure, like, some, because some lens filters are, are made out of plastic. And some are, some are made out of glass. Dun, 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 dun. For the moment I've been waiting for, because I know you've seen this a thousand and one times, but guess what? First time seeing mine. Box. Guess I don't need this anymore. Slow down. Mm. 67 millimeter, 45 millimeter, 35 millimeter F1.4 for the Sony E-mount system. All right, let's make this. Let's, let's make this quick. All right, I probably y'all probably tired of seeing me. You know what I'm saying with this. Boom! Check this out. A card. Uh, it's a limited warranty card. Don't lose this. Some people like throwing these around, but if something happens, you kind of need to know what to do in case of an emergency. So keep these around when you get some free time. Read your warranty card or warranty instructions. Mm, this big book is instructions. Instructions for a lens? Well, this is kind of like beginner stuff. Like, don't look directly at the center with your lens type stuff. Um, and it, it has some, some stuff in here. Well, when you get free time, hey, you can read it. Oh, drop something else like I do with every video. <clears throat> um, to our value customer card. Describes all the different types of lenses the Sigma makes. And this came from, this is your warranty sticker. Pretty neat. Stick it on stuff. Fill it out, stick it somewhere. Don't lose it. And I guess I got a little bit of reading to do today because I have nothing else to do. Quarantine life, went to work. You know, I'll work a light schedule right now until it gets back to normal. Boom. Box. Over here. On the floor. Bag pouch. Nice quality. Not the top of the line quality, but it's something, you know, something is better than nothing when it comes to just the little small things that a company takes the time to make. Pretty neat. Pouch, pouch, pouch. Pulling out the lens. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Lens hood. Sigma lenses. Now, me, I like somewhat heavier lenses. And people say this thing is like heavy, heavy, heavy. But this lens is not that heavy. I'm going to tell you. It's, uh, it's not that heavy, especially in the hand. It's beefy. It's solid. Feels like an 85 almost. Not a Sigma 85, but it feels like an 85 that I have. I'm going to open this up. It's not that heavy, y'all. So I don't get deterred by weight. When you got something solid in your hand, you can control it. But you got a super small light lens, it's kind of without a gimbal. You know what I mean? I mean, that's my opinion. Pretty nice. Um, Very nice. So let's just hope I don't have any focusing issues. Hope I got a great copy. If not, guess what? Just going back and they're gonna fix it. Pop this off. Nice, good quality lens. Check that out. Art series. Rubber. Focus mount. Yeah, it's fairly smooth, but it does make a little bit of sound when you're focusing. Mechanical gears. This is pretty much a DSLR lens with the MC adapter on it. Singular MC11 adapter. Yeah, but they added this on here to make up for the loss of autofocus features. Back of the lens mount. So pretty much, a lot of people don't show this, but it's pretty much the MC11 attached to it. Um, because the lens element, the rear element is about right here where they finesse this on here. But hey, 
I'm excited. I always wanted a 35 millimeter lens. I'm trying to figure it out. And then the Super 35 mode on my A7 III, I could punch it into about a 52 if I needed to. So we don't know if we need a 50 or not. But the rubber ring feels good. You can feel it, the internals turning. And wham bam, thank you ma'am, we jamming. So I'm gonna slap this on my A7 III and just see how it feels in the hands. I'll be right back. What's up guys? I got this put on my A7 III and if you're watching other people's videos, this thing does, it looks monumentally large. Pull off the lens hood, this is what you have. Put the lens head on, which goes on nicely. Snaps into place, and it's about like, about this long. Now that I got everything put together, it's pretty, it's a solid setup, it's not too heavy. It's not one of those things to where like, you walking around with a 7200, and like, it's you, everything's just aching and pain, just mess with this lens. I could take this lens places, you know what I mean? Um, the focus speed, as I was messing around with it, um, and, and uh, single shot, um, autofocus it makes a little bit of noise and um, but it still hits it makes a little bit of noise and focuses put that bad boy in continuous autofocus oh my god nearly silent boom focuses on everything very well and I like it I'm not gonna I do I can dig it I can dig it I like the 35 I like the 35. Right now, first time with 35, I like it. I've tried them on in Best Buy, tried the Sony version, and I liked it. I still like it, you know what I mean? But I like that I got this, I got something I can put my hands around. The Sony one's a little small, if you don't mind that, but it lightens up your workload. I don't mind having this, I don't mind carrying 85s around, and I like that. This is a good combination for me. I hope it's a, it's a good combination for you. Hope you enjoy watching this video of me just unbox a whole bunch of stuff out of a box that you've probably seen a thousand times, but you haven't seen mine. Sigma 35 millimeter f1.4. And hopefully in the next video, I can take you more around and show you some pictures that I've taken with this lens. And it's your boy Jang with a little bit of everything. And you just saw the Sigma 35 millimeter f1.4 unboxing E mount Sony version. Bada bing, bada boom, you're too near me not to hear me. You can call me whatever you want, but don't call me Clip, and I'm out.